if in case you are in a complicated situation, thinking that God has forsaken thee, listen to Reverend Isudanaba, the Apostle of Love Revolution, on how God has indeed compensated him after losing six children in one day in a car accident. I will be right back after this video and share something on your faith in God with you. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and turn on the bell notification icon. Remember, we are contending for the cause of Christ. Listen, I've lost children, biological children and spiritual children, six in one day. When it happened, some people added accusation to my pain. Insulted me well, well. And God restored and gave me daughters. One of them is a white woman. Look at her. Look at her. Chai! Hey! From black girls to Solomia. Today she came to me, she said, Daddy, you know, we, we know, she said it on the stage. We, we know you don't like this daddy, daddy thing, but as for me, you are my daddy. Listen, I lost children, but God did a miracle. Deborah, come here. Deborah, come here. Come here. Come here. That same, that same strange accident and wind that took my children, took her mother. And her mother was my song leader she was very young but she's grown up like this her father has practically donated her to me and mommy so she's my daughter so you know what my daughters are replaced her mother is replaced i know what is in your head now dear eh ya and the papa team can easy say because i know a scripture you don't know Come unto me, all ye that labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So the thing that is giving you wahala, I can find rest around it. But you know, you know why I jumped like that. Mount Moriah came to my mind. Abraham has carried Isaac. He's about to slay Isaac. God said, "I have a substitute," and it was after God showed him the substitute. He gave himself a name, Jehovah Jireh. So, the fulfillment of God's name, Jehovah Jireh, did not come when Abraham was holding Isaac in his hand. It came when God gave the substitute. So, you know what? The will of God in my life may not have been fulfilled when I was with those biological ones. But these spiritual ones will bring about the fulfillment of that purpose. Don't you know there are things your biological children may never do, but it's your spiritual children who will do it. Oh, oh, you're no quaffle. He's a faithful God. There is no lie in him. God is not a man that is should lie. Let God be true and let every man be a liar. your biggest embarrassment is when we get to heaven and the people you thought were dead they will come to you and say ah ah we only moved yesterday the other day i watched psg neymar neymar no watch watch i'm going to tell you something serious soon neymar was injured but he was in the stands and watching the psg players Paul Pogba was suspended. He couldn't play, but he went with them. He was watching them. Some of the people we think we have lost, they only left the militant church, joined the triumphant church, and they are watching us. You know what? Let, let me tell you this. Let, let me tell you this. I fear those my spiritual six children are lost more than even those who are alive like you. Because you see you, if I'm in a room and doing something, you will never see me. What I'm doing now, God may never tell you what is happening. But those of them who are in heaven, I'm sure once in a while, Jesus will call Amanda or Audrey. 
or Clara, or Alex Kusi, or Benjamin Apo, or Alberta. Come and see Israel. Come and see your daddy. Come on. Look, look at a man who lost six of you and is supposed to be dead by now. But look at him. Mm. Amanda, how do you like his suspenders? Mm. Then Amanda will say, Papa, mm, the, the man, I, 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 I. then you call one of them, Alex Kusi, how do you see your daddy? How do you see his walking? Say, ah, yeah. That man has a swag. And they are standing in heaven. And I'm praying, Yagadabo Kobo Shaka Brando, Lika Brande Kabanda Maha, Lika Toliba Baya. Then Jesus will call Audrey and say, Audrey, look at your papa. When you came here, I told you, don't worry. I told you he will survive. I told you my grace is sufficient for him. I told you he will recover. Look at your mama. She wrote the book. When you were alive, she didn't write the book. When you were on earth, she didn't write the book. She didn't launch a book. But in your absence, where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. I came to tell somebody, don't let the devil put you down. The night is a night of restoration. Anything you lost, may you recover it. Come on, shout it! Dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, it is time to stay so strong in the Lord. You have no idea how shameful this can be to a whole pastor. You have no idea how challenging this can be to a whole pastor, to a whole spiritual man. You have no idea how complicated it is going to be to him as a pastor. How many people who will question the whereabout of his God, how many people people who will bash him who even questioned his righteousness his integrity and who even claim that probably he has sinned against god or god is no longer with him pastors are the people who many other christians normally would depend on for prayer or protection many people depend on them for prayer or breakthrough Many people depend on them for prayer or financial breakthrough, whether prosperity. Many people depend on them for prayer of trusting a husband or trusting a wife. Many people depend on them for prayer of promotion at their workplace. Many people depend on pastors for other spiritual benefits and spiritual blessings. And so when this happens to a pastor, many people's faith will be troubled. Many people's faith, even on God, will begin to shake. Others may ask, where was his God? Didn't his God knew that this, were his, this, this was his children? When he has served God all these years and keep preaching Christ, and even when he was serving God, he lost six children in one day and in one accident to today's christianity how many people can stand this and how many people even when have experienced this will continue to love god and will continue to serve god and will continue to mention the name of the lord i tell you others when they lose their mother whom they probably prayed and committed into the hands of God and was expecting that God would take care of their mother's life and that they never thought their mother would die now or any moment. They might even give up on God, give up on Christianity and have nothing to do with God or even Christianity. Others, the moment their wife or husband leaves them, their Christianity ends there. Others, the moment they lose or lost a job where they pray to God for. They give up on God. Others, the moment a brother or a father or a loved one of which they committed into the hands of God dies, even when they prayed, they no longer trust in God. They do not. They no longer believe in God and they do not want to hear anything about God. Dear beloved, I want you to stand strong 
and keep loving God. No matter what, let this story be a token of spiritual encouragement tool and advice to your work with God, knowing for sure that our journey with God is not always going to be better and bread journey. There are times it is going to be complicated. There are times it is going to be loneliness. There are times it is going to be hard times. There are times you'll be rejected. There are times you'll be lambasted, castigated, accused. There are times where all people will point their finger at you. What will make you stronger in those moments is how you will respond to each one of these things. You see, many of us came to God because of the gospel of manna falling from heaven we had. Many of us came to Christ because of the gospel of prosperity, because of the gospel of healing, because of the gospel of divine breakthroughs, because of the gospel of raising the dead, because of the the gospel of the blind seeing, and because of the gospel of the lame walking. Now, God is able to cause a man to prosper. God is able to open blind eye. God is able to cause the dead to arise. God is able to make you rich even within few seconds. But you see, everything in God has gotten to do with process, has gotten to do with timing. God himself does not live in time. But the Bible says that in his own times, he maketh all things beautiful. You see how at the end of the day, he has made the man so strong and his wife, Reverend Isuda Naba. These are certain things that we should learn because you see, often we think that these things are far away from us and all of a sudden when it hits us, we begin to question God, we begin to question our faith, we begin to question whether Christianity is even real or not, that a whole God can look at a pastor's children and allow this to happen to them. Dear beloved, the ways of God are not the ways of man. And that is why you have to encourage yourself, stand so strong, and be bold in these end times. Number one reason, or the main cause, why every single day, Christianity grows weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker is this that you see because we heard about many people who are in christianity today only heard about what christ is able to do they don't know the ways of god they don't know what even christ demands of us as believers and for that matter when they came to god and they begin to walk with christ all they seek for all they are interested is what probably on the first day on the first day they heard the preacher saying that is the reason why probably they are into christianity and they are looking forward to see that blessing and the moment that blessing delays the moment that it takes longer time for them to see the blessing or for the blessing to manifest they begin to consider the God of the Bible as a scam or consider the God of the Bible as a liar or consider the God of the Bible as a fairy tale or something that does not exist. And so, dear beloved, I want you to understand that our journey in Christianity is not always going to be butter and bread. It's not going to be like a life with silver spoon on our mouth. It is not going to be a life where manna is raining from heaven unto us. You have got to learn how to survive in this end time. Use the story of Job that lost a wife, lost children, within a day, within 24 hours to encourage yourself that no matter what happens, understand that the God of the Bible has a good plan for you and has plans to prosper you, has plans to bless you, has plans to make sure that your life will never, ever be the same. Dear beloved, you must understand that no matter who you are, no matter how long you've served God 
and how long you've worked whether in the kingdom and how much of you know of God, many things can happen. But under no circumstances should you deny your God. Under no circumstances should you give up on God. Under no situation or any other trouble or problem should you say you are done with God. Use the story of Reverend Ustudanaba. What he went through, losing six children in a day. And God has comforted him. God has compensated him. And God finally has blessed him. And I'm sure that whatever you are going through at the moment, I may not know the situation. I may not know whether you are trusting God for a husband. You are trusting God for a breakthrough, financial breakthrough, or a wife, or promotion, or a child, or a partner, or uh, maybe destiny helper. Whatever the situation is, I tell you that God is still on course. And God never fails those that depends on him. You've got to put your trust in God. See you again in another episode of Abel Global Prayers, contending earnestly for the cause of Christ. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification icon for more. Shalom, peace, bless up.